Welcome to Pinball Mayhem. My name is Jeremy, and this is part two of the not really a restoration, more of a rebuild of this 1962 United Shuffle Alley. Uh, the model on this one is Embassy. And um, my goals for this are to make it look better, but not really a restoration. I've uh, refinished the uh, unpainted wood at this point, got that done last fall. And uh, what what we're going to focus on on this episode, or volume, or whatever you want to call it, is uh, more of the mechanical work. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, uh, I could start on the mechanicals that are on the back of this one. If you haven't seen part one, go take a look, and it kind of gives you a good overview of everything. I want to, uh, I'm going to start at the front. Now, we could do this from the back side. It's certainly doable. There's enough room back there. But there's a nice feature on these that uh, I'll show you, and it'll make working on the score reels much easier. There is a latch near the top in back here that allows this front panel to come off. Actually, it allows it to hin unhinge. You tip it down here, and then the hinges are designed so that you can slide it to one side and it comes off. We'll just set this off to the side. Now we can access the front. Could change out bulbs, but uh, I'm going to leave that for now. You know what? I'm actually going to pull out all the bulbs right now. Why not? We're here. Might as well do it. Okay. Uniteds of this, uh, from this era use all the same bulb. It's a 55 bulb. Let's take one out and show you here. It's a 6 volt bulb still. We'll get, uh, get some extra light here. All right, let's get this camera to focus. Here we go. So the envelope is larger for better dispersion of light here. And uh, it's got the same bayonet base as a 47 or whatnot. Of course, you can use um, LEDs if you want. There are people that do that. There's nothing wrong with LEDs. But I like the look of the original bulbs. And... Got a big bucket here because there are a lot of bulbs on this one. Let's take them all out. Probably speed up this sequence here. Okay, there's a couple bulbs that couldn't get out, but we'll worry about those later. Now, what I was talking about getting at these uh, score reels easier, there's two latches up at the top. They're held in by screws, the latch slides up. And I've got these speakers here for a reason, because this piece tilts on down. And then we've got easy access to all the mechanicals here. We'll just close the back. Now this uh, this unit is a little older than the last United I worked on. Excuse me, a little newer than the last United I worked on. That United just had like a particle board that was all the way through the whole. This whole reinforcement piece was particle board. This one's got a thin layer of plywood, which is nice. What I noticed with that one when I had it set up in a similar situation is it started to bowl. So I'm a little worried about that on this one. So I I won't leave this down 
when I'm not working on it, I'll put it back up. It, it rests up there just fine without me having to uh, latch it back into position. But uh, we've got all these score wheels to clean, and um, that's pretty much the next step. I'm going to tear them all apart at once, and uh, I might leave one together just in case something comes up, but I've got photos from the last United I worked on. And uh, of course, we'll have the video to look back on if I need to look at anything in particular. So let's get started. <laughs> 